Hello friends, today 25 of January, Tuesday, and this is Irwin, trying to make a bit more clear on the Bose sensor board. It's controlled on this line from the back, and now it goes, it goes down by gravity, but a boat that can capsize doesn't trust gravity because sometimes the boat is upside down and if it's upside down and then it can come back with a big bang. So there's gonna be another loop here holding it. And here is just a slot in the deck and it's a slot in the bottom. And here is the trunk. So nothing can come into the boat. And the big thing is this that the big problem with centerboard is this roof. Usually it's down here, but this has to be sealed. It has to be that it cannot reach it. But that means if it broke, breaks this roof, you cannot repair it, let's see. You have to bring the boat back to shore, and you have to lift it up. And that's the biggest problem. And that's why I'm so happy and proud of this solution. And, um, there's not so many ocean going boats with center boards. And why? Yes, because in the US East Coast, it's kind of shallow water. So there, there was a lot of center board boats in the 1950s and 60s. And uh, for example, uh, Ori Stevens designed uh, this uh, Finisterre, it went, won many races to Bermuda, but then the Carter, I believe it's so, designed a boat called Red Rooster and won the Fastnet race, 1969. And then the English got so angry, so they changed the rule. Instead of the ROC rule, Royal Ocean Club, Racing Club. They started with IOR and they, they penalized the center board so much that now we don't have them anymore. Ocean. Of course, some French cruising people started after that with center boards. So now in France, there is some boat with center board. But it's a good thing if you like shallow water, you send in the big ocean, but then you come back to the and then you have to sail in shallow water and you can find many many interesting places but there is not so many boats you know in shallow water so thank you for this hello friends now um, fix this machine now i know how to do it like this now i can get it out one more. So now it goes like production because I've been fixing this machine. Very fine. I made it a little bit better here. And that's almost everything. You have to do a little bit fixing before it's okay. So thank you for this.